In our prior videos, we talked about needing to add additional element templates for our feature symbologies that we're bringing over from the delivered training and examples workspace. And so to do this, we want to take a look at an application that you can download and utilize to bulk edit MicroStation element templates. And I've shown the zip file here. It will be available to download. I'm going to go ahead and extract the files. and it does use some of the same files as the other application in here that we have for the features import export um, so whether you replace them or not it doesn't matter and this particular executable is entitled here um, basically to export the element templates to and from Excel and what we need to do then is to create our XML file of our current element templates so that we can convert those over to Excel so in our DGN library, we simply go to our element templates in Manage, and we select to File, Export to XML. We select the folder and file name location. So if I wanted to export this to Agency XYZ Element Templates, I can. We'll save that, and then select OK to do that file creation. Then we want to repeat the process for the delivered element template DGN library so that we will have access to all of those element templates. So let's open the feature definitions Imperial in our example here and repeat the process. And I'm going to put delivered here again element templates, save that, and select OK to create. So now we have these two element template files, these XML export files created from our delivered feature definitions DGN library and also from the agency's feature definitions DGN library. We can convert these over now to Excel spreadsheets and move information back and forth just like we did with our symbologies and our definitions. So if we run the executable for the element template converter, we're going to select agency XYZ's file first. So the agency XYZ element templates export. We'll open that and we're going to export that out to Excel and again it is going to append underscore export to the end and so we will save that and that writes that Excel spreadsheet run the executable again and this time we will pick the XML for the delivered element templates which is here and export that to our delivered element templates spreadsheet and save and that writes that one. So now we can go ahead and add the element templates that we need to Agency XYZ and <clears throat> please understand this is optional if you want to drag and drop element templates between DGN libraries right in the element template dialog that's certainly acceptable. This is just an easy way to look at all of your element templates in a very compact format and I have found in my personal opinion it makes it quite a bit easier uh, to do bulk editing of all of the settings. So I'm going to open up my Agency XYZ element templates. So if we scroll down to the bottom of the spreadsheet what we want to do is add entries in here of element templates that are missing from our environment that came over from the examples training and workspace environment that we want to take advantage of and so before we do that though I just want to scroll through the headers here the just so you can understand better what you have the capabilities of bulk editing with your element templates you have the template path the name the level name the color the color the color type color number RGB setting the style name 
line style name, the weight, the class, you know, would be primary or construction, active point value and type, uh, the text style name, transparency, priority, cell name, uh, material value, and material type. And so those are all the ones that we're supporting in this application at this time. At the bottom of this file, we want to go in then and add the additional element template entries from our exported delivered workspace from Open Roads Designer Connect Edition that will fill in some of those gaps for us on especially our corridor feature definitions. So let's go ahead and put those in here. So hopefully I got them all. This is the ones that we specified in our feature definitions and our symbologies spreadsheets of additional element templates that we were going to need for our contours, for the graphics controls category, for the super elevation, and then for the meshes. And so I've got those in here. Now one important thing to point out, these particular level names, when we import those element templates back to our DGN library, this will not force those level names to be created. And so any element templates that we're adding to this master element template spreadsheet, you'll need to make sure if they are new levels that we need to create those ahead of time. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run our application again against this updated spreadsheet to recreate our XML file that we can bring back into MicroStation that will have our new element templates. And so if you remember the XML file that we created, we had called Agency XYZ Element Templates Export. So we want to essentially update that file. And so let's go ahead and run our executable again to do the conversion process. So we will select our XML file that we want to update. So this is going to be our master element templates, which is here and then we need to merge in our updated Excel spreadsheet for our element templates which is here. We'll let that process and then you will see the, the number of element templates that it was updating or writing back to that XML file. Close this and now we have our updated XML file for our element templates that we will be importing in our next section. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.